Not today. I will have hair. I will have hair. What's your hair like underneath? What are your edges saying? Are they there? Are they saying hello? I want to come back. Hello there guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you pea-headed and all. Oh, wow. Because I'm about to lay and slay my hair and my glam for you today. Not that it's a secret, okay? It's not a secret. But I don't really talk about how I lay my hair, where I buy my hair from, the drama I've had when it comes to hair. I have bought bad hair. I have watched other influencer videos and be like, oh, I'm buying that hair. And then I received rags. Trust me, I've been there. I've done it all. And I know a lot of people don't think that maybe people in my position have faced that. We have. And for me personally, learning how to get good at laying and slaying my hair myself but getting that melt on is really important because the rates that they're charging these days 250 pounds to come out for half an hour to glue on a hair i can't i, I can't do it so today we're gonna go ahead and lay the hair Okay, so I have a ball cap. I don't always do the ball cap method and I don't always use proper like bonding glue because I like my life and I like my edges. However, when I want a hardcore slay, I make sure that I use the glue, but I can just use hairspray or even normal hair gel. And I find that my wigs look nice, sleek and wearable. And also I do not have time to glue on a wig every single day. I do not do that. When it comes to the method, I do use foundation or I'll use another cap that's like more skin toned and when it comes to the foundation I'll use I'll just use true match or a more affordable foundation and I'll put that on there to be honest I only do this method because I've seen a lot of people do this method but I don't think there's anything wrong with buying a, a brown cap if you can get a shade that kind of matches you to make magic happen so this should give me a good match and actually because I like my edges and I like my life I'm gonna just use a normal soft gel to like slick my edges back and I should have done this before to just make sure they don't get caught up with the glue. Now a lot of people put their wigs almost on their foreheads because if you have a larger forehead that looks good but if you're someone like me who has a small forehead that looks wild my wig ends up laying on my eyebrows so I have to get it right 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 on my hairline I'll actually say one of my number one goals when it comes to wearing a wig is I should be able to take it off at night and have edges and look cute with my own natural hair I don't ever want to be someone who's like I can't not wear a wig so as I grow out my natural hair it's growing <laughs> her edges are flourishing I want to make sure I can like look after my hair. I moisturize my natural hair every day. I wash it every week. And so I have a really good hair growth process and my hair is pretty healthy, short, but healthy. So whenever I wear a wig, I want to make sure that it's not detracting from my own natural hair thriving. And that's really important because what happens when all the ladies you know, in Cambodia, no longer want to give you their hair anymore. And, and it's a premium price. Some of us are going to be remortgaging our houses to lay a wig. Pow, caps looking cute. I've got a fair bit of makeup now on my forehead. So I'm going to take that off right now. I'm going to use some makeup remover on my hair. And oh my God, these puffs from Garnier, amazing. Okay, ghost bond, here we go. Then I lay it there, giraffe. Then I use the back of a brush or like a small comb to like spread it and I really try to not get this in my hairline. And I think that what I love about doing my hair myself is that I take a lot of meticulous care when it comes to thinking about my hair and it not falling off, it not breaking, me not ending up with damaged, bald edges, like wearing a wig is not that deep. And I do not do this every time. This is when I really want the lay, I'm gonna wear it for a few days, but this is the situation here. And then I'm gonna do a second layer. For the layer, I just go ahead and move my wig down onto it. And I like to start at the middle, right there, and I push. The key thing for a wig like this is that it's already plucked to perfection. And that is when I like to get like a hairstylist in. I usually get a hairdresser to like pluck my wigs for me. But besides that, <laughs> I can do the rest of myself. Now, this wig is two years old. So it's a little janky. It's a little bald at the front, but that's not a problem. Then the key step is to bind it down and let that glue really like melt into, or oh, melt into the lace. Okay, here is where the styling begins. 
Now, I will say that having high quality hair is really essential for a good wig, but also like having the hands to style and having decent tools. Products you use on your hair and your wigs matter so, so much. This is how I get my weave, my good wigs to last me two, three years. And I'm using my GHD products today. I love GHD products on my own hair as well as my wigs. Shout out to them because they are my sponsor. And I always use a heat protectant spray. This is the Bodyguard Heat Protectant Spray from GHG. And I just focused that on the end. So I'm really careful with how I use heat on my wigs. I do not use heat on them every day. It's not even necessary if I do like a proper set situation. And then I'm gonna use my GHG. This is the Helios. Love this professional blow dryer. Quick drying, thick coarse hair is done. I use this on my real hair because it has the comb attachment. experience good hair should not be snapping breaking shedding all over like a dog in your house that is not good hair i was actually going to film this video before of an encounter of a wig that i actually purchased and the hair as i was brushing it i say snap crackle pop never seen hair do that and this was from a premium hairdresser for a long time, one of the reasons why I never shared about where I got my hair from or who my hairdressers were and stuff was because I was very much scared that you guys would get scammed in some of the ways that I would. And I feel very responsible if I say this person is good or buy hair from them and it's rubbish and you get rubbish service and people say, oh, well, they give you the better hair. Trust me, they don't. Trust me, they don't. A thousand pounds deep, 600 pounds deep, it is the same struggle. I've been there many a time. So I just kept quiet because I would deal with my issues and the problems I had behind the scenes on my own, but I always wanna make sure that when I come up here and I share with you guys something, that's something I genuinely like, genuinely use, and can genuinely vouch for. The technology behind the Helios is really amazing. It's aero-precise technology, which means the airflow is really controlled as it hits the hair, directly helping to create much smoother results. If I wanted to, this hair looks super shiny. It dries really, really quick. And I could just like leave it like this, but your girl wants to be slick. Now, talking of products that I can vouch for, I'm gonna go ahead and use the new GHD Max. Guys, I don't know if you can see the size of these plates. They are significantly bigger than normal plates. I believe they are 70% bigger. And this is great for thick, wavy or really long hair extensions. And what I love about GHD straighteners is that they kind of only go up to, I believe it's 185 degrees. So it's there to kind of help maintain the hair and cause that lovely sleek straightening, but without the damage. And I found that when I use really, really hot straightening tools on my weaves and my wigs that I've spent so much money on is that they died quicker. And it's really important to avoid basically burning the hair and singeing it to a smithereen. You have to look after weave that you've invested in like it's your real hair oh and i'm going to use the straight on smooth spray this is great as it's going to kind of give me that really sleek and shiny look but not greasy i hate a greasy weave also with these straighteners, I can use them on my natural hair. Again, for those of you who've got coarser hair, curly hair, thicker hair, and you wanna straighten, but you wanna straighten without the damage, you really need to go for something like this. This is the GHD Matte, because it can get through your thicker hair, more kinky hair, but without damaging. I avoid heat at all costs normally on my hair, besides a blow dry here and there, because a lot of the straighteners and the hot combs, they're going up to 280 degrees, and your hair's falling apart and disintegrating integrating in your hands. No, we can have the straight hair, but also healthy hair. Can we get into it? This is the straight on smooth spray. I often add a bump. I'm gonna do a no bump today. Do you see that shine? Do you see it? Lovely. And I love hair that's shiny, not greasy, and it has to have bounce. It has to move. Why is it stiff? I've come 360 when it comes to doing my hair myself. I used to find it pretty like therapeutic. You know, I, I love doing my hair and changing up my hair all the time. And I'm actually going back into doing my hair myself a lot. And then I got busy and then I was always looking for hairdressers and the perfect person to do my hair. And there's a lot of like really amazing artists and talented people out there. 
and there's also a lot of people who don't love hair or, or care so much about their customer getting the results and you guys have heard me talk about my favorite hairdresser marie she's my personal hairdresser she's got a great shop in brixton shout out to her i'm gonna say like an old school hairdresser who cares about your hair who will say no you can't do this no you can't have that color right now no your hair needs protein no you need a keratin treatment <laughs> like she i love it i love to be told no who can do all the hairstyles and can cut hair properly, layers after layers. Like that's a skill in itself. There's a lot out there and there's always the hunt to find more and to find better. And sometimes I used to find like doing my hair was pretty time consuming, but it doesn't have to be with the right tools. Super sleek in just one pass. It's the flow for me. You can see the difference between here and here, right? Also, if you see that my wig's a little bit bright, <laughs> it's the light wig cap for me. If your lace wig is slightly balding, you can just use a root concealer until you can get it kind of refilled in. So the Max actually uses something called dual zone technology, which measures the thickness of your hair as well as the temperature of your hair. Ooh, look at the shine. I think this is great for girls with thick hair because different regions have different levels of thickness. You may have a bit that's a bit finer. It will kind of adapt based on that technology to your hair. And again, I think it's really important for us to focus less on like our hair looking perfect, but we want it to look perfect, but more on making sure that we don't damage our hair in the process. This hair is so sleek. Boardy, stiff, wear. This hair looks lovely, healthy. It looks like fresh bundles, let's be real. A wash and a press is sometimes all your good hair really needs. And the claims on this are two times less frizz and 80% more shiny. I love that. Now comes the finishing. So I'll take my band off and then we'll just see what we're working with. And what we're working with is looking good. So next up, once the hair is sleek and straight, it's like my finishing. And um, I love using a styling stick wax. This one is amazing. It like sleeks it without making the hair look greasy. And I found that this is what all, all the hairdressers I've used do. Kind of put it on each layer, they brush it down, and then they might use a curler or a hot comb on it. At this point in time, if you're not careful, lace can very much be burnt right here at this moment. I've seen it happen to many a good lace. This is the secret for the flat roots. Brush that down. this side looks and I'm gonna do one more pass just because let's get into it you can see even though this side's super sleek that root action makes all the difference see there we have it sleek giving you Pocahontas shiny but not greasy I would normally go to a hairdresser to give me this level of sleekness Listen, I'll do it at home with my amazing tools. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup now and I'll get more into the details about my hair. Okay, I was just getting into doing my brows. I thought I'd show you what I do. I like them going upwards nowadays. So my hair journey has been one that has gone up and down. And I, of course, did not have the resources to be able to you know, buy the best weave and get the best hairdressers to do my hair all the time. So I always learn and taught myself to do hair. And I always did hair for other people as well. Fast forward a little bit, I'm a YouTuber, I've been a content creator. And six years ago, I started a hair extension brand called Why Hair. And I had been wearing wigs for a really long time. I had a really good supplier from China who I trusted and I absolutely loved. Like everything he gave me was just absolutely uh, amazing and this is way before the hair game is what it is today and back in the day all of us just wanted you know Beyonce style wigs I never knew what a wig was you know I wore weaves but wigs were not something that was very common Lady Gaga wore wigs Nicki Minaj wore wigs and Beyonce wore wigs so I was like low-key wearing it and then eventually after about two or three years and I was a creator I wanted to create a brand white hair so that 
I could take away the confusion from purchasing hair because one of the things I hated in the hair industry was that they're like, it's Peruvian hair, Brazilian hair, Cambodian hair, Chinese hair, Indian hair, all these different categories of hair, but hair is hair. And I hated the fact that hair was valuable based on the race of the people it came from. But actually it's not about whether or not it's a Brazilian or a Chinese person. It's about you want a certain type of hair texture and hair and longevity. And even now, as I say this again, I'm like, I need to bring white hair back. But I actually stopped because from a business perspective, I was getting really busy. I couldn't manage it all and I didn't have enough of a team to run it. So though we were really successful, I just didn't have the capacity to really take it to where it needed to get to. A great customer base, a great fan base, like repeat orders all the time because people love our hair. And even like four or five of my wigs are still white hair. And I also only get my bundles from that same supplier. <laughs> Cause I don't like all these street bundles anyway. I'm gonna go with the Cordely. This is the skin perfecting mattifying fluid. Today I'm using my Natasha Denona foundation. I really like the color of this foundation. Right now I think this seems absolutely a perfect match for me. A little darker. I feel like at the moment I need to go darker for some reason. I like that. I like that. Let me look like my own skin tone. For concealer, I'm going Pat McGrath Skin Fetish. So I would get like my trusted hairdressers to like make me wigs and stuff. But you know, sometimes you want to switch it up. You want to try something new. That's a mistake. And try new people. And you know, I've kind of been on a journey of like trying new different people. And wanting to try different styles and seeing what people are doing out there and it hasn't always bode well for me. I definitely like to have different hairstylists for different things. And I, like you, pay. I pay every hairstylist I ever work with because I don't want any drama on my hands or someone saying that I didn't pay, right? Some of the prices are absolutely astronomical and I've been bumped, you know, even recently I had someone like do my hair and they invoiced me one price, come to find out that it's actually a different price for other people. So people charge me higher and the hair was absolutely ripping and falling apart. Mistake numero uno, if it's not broken, why change it? But I think all of us wanna often try something new, right? So I was like using some of the online hairstylists and the people I see on Instagram, just everybody. And honestly, I've found that sometimes the customer service doesn't hit. Um, also, Remy is amazing. If you ever see me talk about Remy, she's absolutely phenomenal. And I'll put a list of the people who I really like down below, FYI. But others, not so much. I've also found that I've paid, overpaid for like say a premium product and then I wash the hair and ink or dye is rinsing out of hair that's meant to be premium raw hair. Why is there black dye in there? Why is it blue? I've had people write me to get their money even if there's issues and it's not, it's not how I like to work and I always pay people but it's very stressful. However, one of the things that I realized, I was scared in the past to like use a lot of the cheaper hair websites because I think, oh, you know, it's poor quality or oh, the, the wig doesn't fit. But actually, there's a cheaper website um, for cheaper wigs and three times I've now gone on there to buy a wig. I spend no more than $200, maybe $250, depending on the length and color. And then I bring it to one of my great hairstylists, which is Remy. I'm sure there are other really amazing stylists to pluck the edges, to style it up and make it fit me a little bit more. But these ready-made wigs from some of these Chinese vendors, they work really well. You don't always need a custom wig. And I think nowadays there's so much marketing around how amazing it is to have a custom wig. But I think it's overrated. And this is coming from me. I've had many a custom wig that doesn't fit. Why is the lace bolding? The drama, the stress. I don't even want to put the wig on my head because it feels like it has bad energy. So, you know, for me, I've kind of learned that I have to use people that I trust. And I think it's really important. And I know it's really hard to find people to trust out there. I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty palette. And I think a lot of people think wigs are like a long-term investment. They are a styling option. And what you don't want to do is spend all your savings on a perfect birthday wig. That isn't all that because I think a lot of people end up being quite disappointed. Who remembers when you could go to the hairdressers and pay 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds for a wash, a blow dry and a press. We did this for years. And also I'm kind of going back to some of like the old school hairstyles that I really liked, like the braids. It's the half wigs. It's a weave. 
How much was a weave? Sometimes it appears like we disregard the things of old when we don't really need to. Oh, I'll give put the link down below of the place where I buy my closure wigs. It's a recognized brand, but I bought these wigs three different ones and I've loved them. Fundamentally, hair is such a powerful thing, right? Particularly as a black woman that hair has an emotional attachment. When I don't feel good, I wash my hair. When I don't feel good, I braid my hair. I oil my scalp. It's such an emotional thing that it's quite important to be careful whose hands are in your hair. What's that energy? Also, I think it's really important for wig wearers and people who are into the weaves. What's your hair like underneath? What are your edges saying? Are they there? Are they saying hello? I wanna come back? When I wear a wig, I always want to make sure that my hair underneath is flourishing, it looks healthy, I can be like, hey babe, edges are here, I just can't do the, my hair's falling to pieces, so I'm just going to slap a wig on. No way. And I think anyone who's in maybe in that situation, never fear, there's always hope, it just takes process and love. And if you need to shave your head off like I did last year, then do it. So yeah, next steps from here. Well. I'm on my own hair growth journey. Again, I've relaxed, I've been natural. I think I've even jerry curled and I've done, I've done a lot of things because at the end of the day, hair is for fun. For me personally, I have hair that is naturally on the thinner side, no matter what I do to it. I just have very fine, low density hair and I'm proud of it because people often say the reason why your hair looks like that is because of X, Y, Z but not recognizing that different people have different types of hair by nature. Like some people just have thick hair and some people have thinner hair and there's nothing wrong with it. When it comes to wigs and extensions, I think from now on, I'm just gonna play a little bit more, have a little more fun and not spend too much money and stick to some of the people that I just know. However, if there are new people who are trustworthy that you like, please do let me know. And I know a lot of people, they like to get their hair done on their birthday because they don't want to do it themselves. And I think that's absolutely fine. That's definitely like what I would do as well sometimes. But don't you hate it when it's your birthday or a special occasion and then you get a pro to do it and you're like, I hate this, what a, what a waste. I've had it happen so many times. Personally, like for an event or something, I'm like, oh no, this, isn't right. And I think it's cause a lot of us know our face the best, you know? Know our hair the best. These Fenty gloss bombs are amazing. Roller lash, benefit, bang. I love blush at the moment. This is actually the Florence by Florence. The color payoff kind of hits, it's not bad. Finish that up with some Fenty spray for that moisture to just hit. Hair and the hair industry in general needs to be fun. It shouldn't be like, catty and difficult you know hair's fun and it will always grow back or you can buy some okay guys that is it from me get ready with me let's talk about hair i'm sleek i'm straight thank you to ghd i can live my sleekest hair dreams right now love it i just wanted to have a little bit of a chat but whatever you guys want to see next let me know i'm gonna try and be consistent again ish i just say that <laughs> I'm coming up here when I feel the most motivated to like talk, to share, give you my all when I do something. So yeah, love you all. I'll catch you all later. Bye.